Uh, we went from 23 kids on paper last year, this time, to now 62 kids registered in the ministry. Uh, we have kids constantly coming, hearing the word of God. We run fantastic games with them. We run a program with them. We just kicked off our own kind of devotion group that meets every Friday. And they're going to come and share the, we're going to share the word, share some food together, and just focus on that relationship with kids that don't know Christ yet. And we're really reaching out towards this younger generation. I just really encourage you. Um, we, we've started building such a fantastic team. And it's not just growth in our kids that are coming, but growth in our leaders, uh, people that uh, have now stepped up and are sharing the word of God to these youth kids every single week that never wanted to talk in front of people before and just a consistent growth. I just really want to encourage everyone today to continue pressing forward into growing, continue to push yourself and to further yourself in your relationship and your walk with Christ and always think about the next step because we can always go further, we can always push further. How exciting is that? Isn't that good? Also, I just want to share some of the impact that Bethany Care, our disability ministry, has. Uh, we have two permanent accommodation homes, one respite home. We offer client care and day groups. And what is unique about Bethany is it is a Christian service. And uh, what is amazing in our observations is that clients, when they come in, there's a growth that occurs. They're coming into a loving environment. And we have observed clients um, settled more within themselves, with bigger smiles on their faces, uh, growing in their communication skills, really practical ways we observe when the clients come into the Bethany Care environment. So we praise God for the tremendous, you know, Jaden's talking about us growing. We have clients in Bethany taking their next steps and growing in their potential that is enabled by the flourishing environment that we are providing for them. We praise God for all our dedicated carers, our huge team of carers. And, and not only that, but we're providing valuable respite for over 80 families on the Gold Coast. And that is desperately needed by families who are stretched and exhausted and burnt out by the constant care. And we're providing a ministry to those families isn't that amazing that we've got the privilege? Um, my sister has a, a child with a disability, so it's really close to my heart. And the impact that we're having every single day, 24-7, we provide service. That's something, guys, you'd be proud of as, as Hope and really celebrate and praise God for what's occurring. You know, when we leave this building, there's still ministry occurring 24-7. Also, our college, Hope College, has over 520 students. Mm. And pretty much um, we have students studying by distance education in every state of Australia. Uh, we have uh, um, classes on the Gold Coast. We have regional campuses in Brisbane, Sydney. We partner with King's Christian College on the Gold Coast to train the senior students in the Certificate Three in Christian Ministry. And we also train in aged care. Just recently, we had feedback received from um, our aged care students. And I tell you, it brought a tear to my eye. There are several um, lots of feedback of people who mature age, who had lost their jobs, um, were going nowhere, felt hopeless, very underconfident. And through our equipping and training and loving and caring for them, and may I say, giving them hope through our training, They've found work, they're flourishing, they're growing in their work, they love what they're doing. And you have to understand, though, their lives have been turned around. They're different people from when they first came in, and that's very exciting for us to play a part in that. We are training um, youth pastors, youth leaders. We're training pastors in professional development all over Australia. At the moment in Spring, uh, Springboard Wood in Queensland, in Brisbane, we have four young guys who just graduated from high school. They're doing an internship with their local uh, church and they are powering in the Word of God. They are powering in it. They're just absorbing it like a sponge. It's such a privilege for us to be able to partner and see that equipping people in the Word of God. That's desperately what our word world needs. Also, chaplains in every state of Australia. We are equipping 30 chaplains. Can you believe that? 30 chaplains who are actually on the coalface. And we ring them, we talk to them, we know what they're going through. Challenging, complex situations with people. 
right there and we are equipping them, we're praying for them, we're encouraging them and they are growing in their work as chaplains. All part of what we do, which is part of our fruit. Um, so it's amazing what God is doing through Hope College and Bethany Care. And also there's our overseas missions with Hope and Grace Foundation, uh, our House of Hope. We're uh, providing support for eight university students and 20 primary and high school students who come from the poorest of the poor. And so we're not only feeding them, but we're paying for their education. Um, the livelihood program is continuing to flourish. The caribou and the pigs are continuing to multiply. The rice is continuing to grow. And those practical things are having an incredible impact in people's lives in a very practical way. And we're supporting indigenous pastors who minister out of their poverty to people who are poorer than them. And we are supporting them as well in indigenous areas. We're also supporting Wayne and Rosie in church planting in the Philippines. So we praise God for our international work that we're doing. And also with Hope Care, with our community engagement. We've never before had such strong networks and relationships with our local community here in Varsity. And we believe God has strategically placed us here. And we will be having lots of opportunity to do that again in Winterfest this coming Year. So we just want to take a moment to praise God for all that he has been doing just in these last few short months. And we thank God for people serving in all of our teams. We've got worship, tech, kids teams. We've got a huge kids team right now ministering to our, our children right now as we're in here. We've got youth teams, outreach, pastoral care, new people service teams. Ushering. We had two new ushers serving this morning. Did you notice? You could, you could tell because they were just beaming faces as they always are, just giving us a warm welcome when we arrive. Uh, we've got uh, all sorts set up, cleaning, communion, people who count our offerings, prayer team. And we praise God for the increase in all of those areas. And we are, as I've said, praying and believing for additional people to serve as we have this desire to grow and make room. So this morning, it's time for us to complete our connection card. And I would like to ask you the question, if you haven't served yet on the team, you know, would you prayerfully consider it? There's a verse in Isaiah 54 that talks about enlarging the place of your tent, stretching the curtains, lengthening the cords, strengthening the stakes. It's talking about getting ready for increase. And I'd just like to ask you this morning, I believe that's for our church. It's for us as individuals and it's for our church. Get ready for increase. Are we ready for increase? That's a good question to ask, isn't it? So this morning, um, you'll find your connection card in the little packet that's on your seat or in front of you. If you're new to Hope, welcome. We are so glad you're here and we trust that you just feel loved and accepted and um, belong here. Um, if you're a regular, if you can fill out your email address, if you're new, we'd love for you to use this little piece of paper to connect with us in some way. You can put your prayer request there and we will pray for you through the week. But, you know, there is a section right down the bottom to serve Jesus. Hey, maybe there's somewhere you'd like to serve and it's not listed on that. Awesome. You can write it down. There's space at the bottom. But we would like to uh, just ask, are you ready for increase? Would you like to increase? Would you like to take that step, next step in your growth? And we would love to have you on one of our teams um, serving. So I'm just going to take a moment to complete this.
serve an incredible God, don't we? Who does impossible things as we've signed um, And we thank him for everything that he's doing in and through us. Okay, now, Pastor Wayne, if you hold on to your connection cards, we will receive them as the buckets come round. Pastor Wayne is going to come and encourage us in our giving. Wonderful, thanks, Jane. So, as you know, there are three ways to give. You can use the envelopes that, uh, where you've got your connection card. There's a couple of envelopes there today. Uh, you can use your credit card at the reception desk and you can use uh, the online giving and the details of that are in the news sheet. As Pastor Janine mentioned, today is Mission Sunday. So if you are using the envelopes, get the red one and put the uh, missions details in, and obviously the blue one is for your normal tithes. Pastor Jean mentioned that we are supporting Philippines Day, the Hope and Grace Ministries, and also the church planting with Wayne and Rosie Downey. I was just um, thinking about the word, we use the word offering, don't we? And obviously the word offer, it's got a whole range of different meanings. Uh, it means that we can present or proffer something to someone and they might accept it or reject it according to their choice. They can offer you a drink, can offer you a cup of coffee afterwards. And Jesus offers us the free gift of salvation and we can accept it or we can reject it. But the offer is there. Another meaning of the word offering is to express readiness to do something on behalf of somebody. He offered to fix the gate. Can I give you a hand with that? And Jesus offers to be with us. He offers to never leave us or forsake us. Sometimes an offering is, uh, we use the word offer in terms of a contract or a bid. I'll, I'll offer you $10 to buy that thing off you. Or um, I will offer this for sale at a certain price. So, or we, you know, the, uh, put our house up for, for auction and it goes to the person who makes the highest offer. What does Jesus do? He offers us an exchange. His life for our sin. What an amazing offer. What an amazing transaction. And finally, we use the word offering in terms of giving a present or giving a gift. And uh, or we offer our prayers. And we also use it in a financial way by offering our gifts through our tithes and offerings here today. So, as we come today, and Pastor Janine's talked to us about the whole range of activities that are involved in the ministries of Hope Church and the College of Bethany Care.